Well, hello, hello, everyone. Good evening, good morning, wherever you are around the world. Welcome, welcome to the Mindset Masterclass. My name is Kathy Feenan, and I am so, so excited to be with you guys on this call tonight. This is one of my favorite parts about what it is that we get to do together in making an impact in the lives of those around us and really stepping into more joy more freedom, more abundance, and more just feeling fabulous and being fabulous and doing fabulous. Who would love to be all of those things? Yes, awesome. Hey, Laura, I can see you there. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Bronnie. Great to see you, gorgeous. Hey, Anna, Chantelle, I can see you there. Deb, Janie, Joe, Jessica, Kelly, Julie. Oh, my goodness. Look at all these gorgeous souls. I am super excited about being here tonight. And uh, tonight is one of my most favorite topics of all. It is all about self-love. Who is ready to love themselves on a deeper level and appreciate themselves on a deeper level and get rid of the fear and just the junk that gets in the way of our greatness? Who's ready for more of that tonight? Yeah, absolutely. So what I would really, really love for you to share in the comments below is one way that we love to kick off these calls is I want to know what are you proud of in yourself it's so easy for us to criticize ourselves isn't it and so one of the things that I really love to do is to highlight where you're being amazing right so where in your life is it in your business in your juice plus business is it in your family is it with your health is it your self-care is it your exercise? Is it your finances? Where do you feel like you are winning right now? And what is it that you are proud of in yourself? And I would love for you to share. And I'm even going to ask, Barbie, hello, I can see you there. And uh, hi, Joe. Welcome, welcome. If you're not visible just yet, I would love for you to turn your camera on because visibility is accountability. And I don't know if you've ever had a conversation with someone and it's a black screen with a little name on it. Like we like to get personal, right? <laughs> so I love that. So Cheryl, positive attitude, amazing. Kelly, your positivity and hope for the future. Super cool. Julie, proud of your healthy lifestyle. I love that. That is so awesome. Healthcare, self-care, positiveness, Janie. Love that. Catherine, transitioning into retirement and making changes to your health. That is so awesome. Kelly, so proud that you worked so hard to get your house ready for sale and that it just sold. Yay! Celebrating you. That's awesome, my love. Um, Janie, cooking and looking after your daughter and granddaughter. So I will see your pocket. <laughs> That's totally okay. Supporting your family in every aspect, Jessica. I really love that. Anna, you're so in love with the NHC six-week challenge and the gifts that it keeps giving you and your family. That is super cool, guys, and congratulations. Can we just take an opportunity? We like to have some fun on our calls today as well. And so I would love for you to, one of the things that we like to do on these calls is you've you've heard some of our our beautiful, hearing impaired, gorgeous souls that you may or may not know around us. But this is how we clap online, like this. So can you give me a clap? <laughs> can you give each other a clap? Awesome. Amazing. So when we celebrate one another, we're going to clap it out, right? We're going to have some fun with this. Well, let's dive on into this. So we're going to do, um, I'm going to take you through a process tonight. It's the biggest processes that I do um, with the beautiful people that I have that opportunity of working with over the years. Um, spirit fingers, absolutely, Kelly. Maybe we can call these our JP spirit fingers, yeah? Could we do that from now on? That's kind of fun. Um, um, so with any of these processes that we do, if it's not safe and it's not a place for you to be able to go really deep in the session Feel free at any time to leave if you need to, but make sure you come back and watch the recording um, because your unconscious mind will sabotage your healing because it feels like healing is hard, right? 
everything is about instant gratification. It's that feel good now. Avoid the things that are hard or avoid the pain and go towards the, the pleasure, right? So we want to be really, really mindful of that. Um, so be really honest with yourself. So if it's actually not such a good time right now, to asking yourself, or is this just discomfort for you, right? And if you've got, if you know you've got kids on the other side of the door, right? Or if you're at work, um, or if you've got pets there that can jump on your lap, maybe jump out, okay? We want to make sure that as you're doing this process today, um, that you are in a safe space and your nervous system is completely regulated. So we're going to go through um, some beautiful relaxation. I really love these pro processes because we get to reprogram and rewire the, the unconscious mind against anything that's not serving you right now, okay? So if you'd like to do any more of these incredibly powerful processes that just work, you can head to the Facebook Juice Plus page and inside guides, we have a number of masterclasses. So if you go to guide number eight and you look for the Mindset Masterclasses, all of these recordings are saved there. So there's about seven or eight of them. Um, there's one on limiting beliefs. So anytime you're aware of a limiting belief come up or when you notice, when you notice self-sabotaging symptoms come up. So give me a three in the box below if this sounds like you or someone you know. Procrastination turns up or you're busy going nowhere or maybe you're getting distracted. It's like, I know I need to do my DMO. I know I need to, you know, reach out and follow up with my customers and take care of them on their journey. Right. I know I need to have a conversation with my upline because I just need some support and coaching and guidance, but we're not actually doing the, the things, right? Or maybe you're noticing perfect perfectionism. Give me a four if you notice that when you go to post something on social media or you go to do a Facebook Live or something like that and you're like, no, this is just not good enough. I've got to go redo that again. Anyone else or is it just me? Yeah. Right, I was a massive perfectionist. Thank you for being so honest. And and Kelly Morris, is that a 44 or did you mean just to put number four? Because like that, I was like on a scale of zero to 10, I was like 100. So I'm hearing you, girlfriend, right? So can anyone relate to any of these self-sabotaging symptoms? Give me a JP spirit fingers if that's you. Yeah, if you notice that. Yeah, so whenever we notice these behaviors come up for us, that's just, they're just symptoms of what's going on on a deeper level in the unconscious mind that's just holding us back. It's causing that resistance, yeah? So that's really cool. Um, just to answer your question, my love, Anna, so when you go into the Facebook page for Juice Plus Partners and you go to the very top of the page and there's a little section there called Guides. Yeah, so there's like files, videos, albums, and then guides. So when you go to guides, you'll scroll down to number eight, which is the Mindset Masterclasses, and all of these are saved in there. Okay? Awesome. Big clap. Love it. Love you guys. I love hanging out with you guys. You're like rock stars. I often say this is like the ultimate peer group, isn't it, that you'll want to hang around. I keep coming back because of you guys, right? That's what keeps me in the game. When I was building my business, you guys are the reason that I keep coming back, right? So really cool. And Kelly, oh, yeah, I'm so glad that you've got them all in that one little spot now. They're also going to be um, put on the hub as well. And they're also on the Juice Plus Franchisee Partners Facebook page. Um, Facebook page, YouTube channel as well. So we've got them saved in a few different spots, which is really, really cool. Now, these processes that I use, um, we use these for a number of things, right? We use them to heal addictions. Um, only just this last week, we had a fellow who had been addicted to ice for eight years. And within three or four sessions, he no longer has that addiction alcoholism was one a lady that I had this week 
um, anxiety and depression, I'm getting goosebumps because the transformation that you have in your behavior, behavioral change happens at an unconscious level, right? So if we want to get rid of any addiction, whether it's an addiction to anxiousness or depression or alcohol or whatever the addiction is, this is where it's at. So these are so, so powerful and uh, and you get them all, all accessible for $55 a year, like holy smokes. The value that we have in our hands with our programs, our beautiful product, all the world-class coaches and the mentors you have access to in your upline team, honestly, guys, it is world-class and so, so beautiful to and worth sharing. So let's make sure that we're sharing this goodness with other people because if we're not sharing it, it's kind of like, you know, when you're in a dark room or maybe you've gone, who's gone to a party and they've turned all the lights out and it's dark. And you're winking in the dark, right? If you're winking in the dark, nobody else knows that you're doing it. (laughs) And that's what it's like when we don't share our business or our products or these programs or you guys as this beautiful peer group that people get to hang out with and just make a whole bunch of friends and have a safe environment where they get to step into the highest version of themselves. So if you're not sharing this just yet, I want to question you, what is getting in your way? And we're going to take care of some of that tonight. We are going to eliminate tonight the fear of judgment, the fear of rejection, the fear of not being enough, the fear of the not deserve, the deservingness stuff, right? We're going to get rid of a lot of these unled fear, um, these lead fears that are no longer serving you, okay? So tonight is a really big process. So what I'd really love to do, first of all, is if you've got a brand new fresh sheet of paper, I'd love for you to pull that out because we make this really, really, um, we want to make this a really safe space for you to play full out and for you to be held because we've got you. We love you. And when there's nothing more, I know for sure that Celine and myself and your upline team and your sideline buddies want more for you than to step into your truth and the fullness of who you are, of everything that you were created to be. Okay, that's our dream for you, to be able to create a business and a life that you absolutely adore and make an impact that just lights your soul up. Who's ready for more of that and to go next level? Because I know I am. I'm in a really big expansion stage myself as well as I'm up-leveling in my world, in my impact that I'm making in the world and in my life as well. So I'm on this journey with you, okay? I'm not the guru. I've just learned a whole bunch of tools and resources that have helped me on my own self-healing journey and prospering in every single area of my life so that it flourishes. And I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I'm still healing. And we're always going to keep on evolving, right? So with that, with your piece of paper, what I'd love for you to do is at the very top of your piece of paper, I'd like for you to write, it hurts me when. And what comes after that? So we know for me, just to give you some examples, it hurts me when people think I'm greedy. Right? So when I'm building my business and I'm expanding financially and people think I'm greedy, that hurts me because that's not my intention. So I'm misunderstood. It hurts me when I take all the effort to clean my home and then my husband and my daughter just come in and mess it up in five minutes, (laughs) right? Can anyone relate to that one? (laughs) Yeah, it hurts me when I'm not appreciated. What is it that hurts you? 
what's coming up for you. Ask yourself, what would others be doing or what would others not be doing that would tell you that I'm not appreciated? Right? So it might sound really insignificant and it makes me giggle, but when someone says they feel so unloved and unappreciated and not valued when their partner goes into the kitchen in the ad break and doesn't bring them back a cup of tea or coffee when they've made one for themselves, right? Or the opposite of that occurs. They feel loved and appreciated when they bring them the cup of tea. It's quite amazing, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to get to what's underneath all these things. We're not going to go through all of these, but let's go through some of them so you can apply the exact same logic to your thread, okay? Who would like to share what's come up for you? It hurts me when. Yeah, so Catherine, people take you for granted. Yeah, I can relate to that. Kelly, people say negative, untrue things about you. Yeah, that's a huge one, right? Still care about what people think, right? I don't get triggered by so much of that anymore because I've healed a lot of that. But yeah, absolutely. What's come up for you, Jessica? Nicole, Catherine? Oh, Catherine, I can see you put yours there. Sorry. Joe, Laura, it hurts me when. Kelly, Anna, yeah, Joe, people judge me. Yeah, you know people judge other people because they're trying to work out whether it's safe or not. A big one. It hurts me when you're not heard or seen or respected, Nicole. Yeah. Can anyone relate to that, Spirit Fingers? Yeah, Bronnie, you can relate to that, my love. Yeah. Jessica, your efforts go unappreciated, like the nice dinner that you've made not getting eaten. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I hear you. I can relate to that one. Yeah, when you think a lot about your childhood, Kelly. Yeah. Yeah, when a close friend, Julie, isn't there for you in the crappy times. Yeah. Yeah. Chantelle, I can relate to all these. I feel hurt when people think that I'm stupid and I know, don't know things. Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to have a look at what are the underlying fears. So as an example, feeling like I'm not being heard, right? Feeling like she's being misunderstood, not validated, right? Fear of rejection, fear of not being important, unworthiness. Yeah, has anyone got any others that have come up that might be a bit different? Yeah, okay. So underneath all of this, it hurts me when these are the underlying fears that are driving it, right? Um, fears of not being worthy of help. Fears of not being worthy of being cared for not being good enough. So then underneath that, there's shame, right? So there's shame, there's not enough. Shame is one of the deepest of the emotional traumas because shame and trauma go hand in hand, okay? Shame is making something wrong or making someone wrong, making ourselves wrong, okay? So what that means is that this is where we have to be really conscious of the way that we define trauma, Right, So the reason we pair these things together within this beautiful child process is because this is all learned. Right, The fear of not being heard, you're not born with that. The fear of not being validated or not being important or not being worthy or not being good enough, you were not born with those fears. Right, So these fears have come from, an er from early life experiences. Now, so just imagine this, right? So when my daughter, when I started um, building my network marketing business and I'd just fallen pregnant with my daughter, so it was 20 years ago now, I was working in corporate and I wanted to leave my corporate job, even though I loved human resources, I loved helping people there, I loved my family more. 
right? I wanted to have time, freedom and flexibility to look after my little girl. And I remember when Amy was maybe about four or five years old, who has children here? Yeah, who knows someone that has children? Yeah, who was once a child? Okay, great, awesome. So I'm in the right room. So think about when Amy was about four or five years old. If you've noticed your children and they come home from school and they've got all these paintings and they've got craft and like there's so much of it and I would I would get it home, like I would bring it home, um, but physically I could not keep all of it, right? But it, So I had to put some of it in the garbage bin. So if Amy at that age had seen her paintings in the bin, what kind of thoughts might come up for her? Yeah, I'm not good enough, Anna. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So from so from a developmental perspective, children don't have a fully developed prefrontal cortex yet. So for for Amy, when that happened, and purely from a brain development perspective, I was an awful beast of a mother in that moment. Right? Practically, I can't keep all of her paintings. I mean, if you girls and guys have kept every single thing that your children have ever made, I take my hat off to you. <laughs> but I don't know a single parent who has not thrown some stuff in the bin, bin that the kids have made. Yeah? So it's a really normal part of life. And so too is the emotional response to seeing something thrown out that you care about. That's also a very normal part of life. But how it's been perceived and how it's been dealt with because she hasn't developed that prefrontal cortex yet right so I have to be that for her now I can't just say to her now don't be silly I can't keep everything and that expect that to be done because if I said something like that and I just dismiss that then what does she learn that her feelings don't matter right what else might she learn you don't care. She might learn that I'm not a safe person to go to with her feelings. How big is that? Now, she's four years old when she's had this experience and has developed these belief systems. Mum doesn't love me. I'm rejected. I'm not good enough. Mummy hates me. I'm not good at craft. I don't feel special. Now, that to me sounds like trauma, doesn't it? And this is what we call the little T traumas that we think are so insignificant along the way, but actually they play a really big role in the way that we behave and what we manifest in our lives as adults as well. So what I'm talking about here are the little experiences, okay? Um, so what I really want to do tonight and, and, and remind you, thinking about when Amy's 34 years old and she's got two kids and she's having problems in her relationship, she's not going to come home to me and tell me that because mummy doesn't love me because mummy threw out her pictures when she was four. Is this making sense? And she'll go to her dad instead. So now the complaints in her relationship are nothing. She doesn't feel good enough. The same as when she's wanting to build her business. She feels rejected when a customer says no. Right? Now, there's 30 years between when her mind assigned meaning to those things and that experience and now the reality of life that she's living in every relationship, whether it's in her personal world or her business world, her friendships, her customers, her teammates, all of the things that she's done, the story is exactly the same. And even if she's in a new relationship where those things are present, it's only a matter of time before they show up again. Because that's her story. That's her belief. Right? It's literally programmed into her mind. So I can tell you, I can't tell you a single relationship in my whole life that didn't have the same underlying stories, just with a different character, 
it was the same stuff. It wasn't them that had to change. It was my stories because, in fact, there was lots of evidence in my relationships that I am good enough and that he loves me, right? And this is just giving you a little bit of a demonstration of how even though nothing in our reality actually changes except for the programming in our mind, our whole world can change, including our relationships, right? So let's have a look at these belief systems that are binding us, that stop us, right? So when I can let go of those beliefs, those rubbish stories of unworthiness, etc., and I now have a knowing of my worthiness, then there's no threat that comes from other people because I have safety now. And that's what we're going to do tonight. Who's excited for that? It's a really, really powerful process what we're doing tonight. I'm really excited. And I usually only have to do maybe one or two examples of, of this for people and they go like, oh my gosh, like if I literally go through every single one of those, it hurts me when, and you ask yourself, what is this really bringing up for me? The fear of what is that, right? If I didn't keep this house tidy, what am I actually afraid of, right? When I'm the only one that picks up after the kids and gets them ready for dinner, it's nothing to do with dinner. It's nothing to do with picking up the kids. It's all about the triggers in us, okay? So when we start to understand that when we go through life, placing expectations on everyone around us, imagine the exact things that have to go the right way just to fit like pieces of the puzzle around our wounds and our hurt in order for us to be happy in our relationships, happy in our business, happy in our jobs, happy in our world, it's impossible. It can't happen because someone is bound to get the wrong puzzle piece on the wrong day in the wrong moment. So taking that approach really takes forever and it sets us up for failure because these are the wounds that are in us, okay? Some of us have um, may have experienced big T traumas, the abuse the neglect, all types of serious things. But then there's the little T traumas. So the people that usually end up in this community are the people that have experienced um, either because they have physical symptoms as well. And as you start to heal the trauma that's literally stored in your body at a cellular level, I have seen so many people heal their own body, including mine, okay? Because like I said, trauma is stored at a cellular level. And it's the same for all physical manifestations like autoimmune diseases, all kinds of things. So diving into this is literally changing you at a cellular level. It's physiological. It's so powerful. Okay. So what, what we're going to do is the very, very first step to loving and caring for yourself is reprogramming your mind, right? So I want you to have a think of when you look at other people that love themselves, what comes to mind for you? You might like to share that in the comments box below. Yep, they have confidence. Yep, good upbringing. I love that, Joe. Confidence, empowerment, self love. Awesome, Nicole. Yep. Has anyone ever had the thought, maybe now, maybe once upon a time, that you look at some people that love themselves, that are, they're selfish, they're up themselves, they're arrogant, egotistical? Has anyone noticed that? Anna, they're stuck up. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. They're pretentious. Yeah, you have to, Laura. Yeah. So if I offered you a plate of all these things, you would say, no way. So now how does it feel to love yourself? It's not safe. It's not safe to love ourselves because that's what other people will think about you if you love yourself. Does that make sense? So what happens is because on a deeper level, our nervous system 
it will sabotage, right? Think about the things that are tied with loving yourself, like the way we look, how much exercise we do, the food we nourish ourselves with, how much sleep we get, right? The thoughts that go through our head. And when we look in the mirror, right, the clothes we wear, the stuff we do to our bodies, think about the people like I used to that couldn't leave the house unless I had a full face of makeup and not a hair out of place. Okay, I just wouldn't go and be in front of other people because I wasn't perfect, right? I wasn't enough. Can anyone relate to this? Or do you maybe know someone in your world that can relate to this? Yeah, I was a perfectionist. I had to control everything and I had to control everyone to feel safe. That was my safety, right? They can't wear certain clothes or whatever. You'll sabotage every effort to love yourself because with all of the programming and beliefs that you've had around people who love themselves, we, we now need to protect ourselves from that because it feels unsafe. So the first step to loving and caring for yourself is reprogramming your mind. Outside all of those lies, none of those things are true. Are you worthy of loving? Yes. Are you worthy of nurturing your body and moving your body and holding your body and being loved? Absolutely you are. But it's all that programming that stops you from having it. And like I've mentioned before, most of it's not even yours. There's only three things that keep us stuck and disempowered and not moving forward. Limiting beliefs, trauma, and 20% of that trauma is passed on from our generations, right? And shame, making something or someone wrong. They're the only three things that get in our way. And with these processes, we just clear all that crap, which is really cool. And we're going to do that tonight, okay? You might have had an experience where someone said, like I did when I was in high school, I had these girls that always gave me a hard time um, about my lanky legs and they'd call me chook, right? And that was a personal experience that I had that my mind created a meaning that I wasn't worthy of love because I was lanky and tall and skinny mini like my dad and my two sisters. And had I never had that experience because of society and because of the collective consciousness, and the collective programming of society, I probably would have still had the same beliefs and be wearing really thick, heavy jumpers and heavy jeans and heavy socks in 40 degree days to hide. Okay, crazy, isn't it? When I met my husband 30 years ago, when we were 18, and I found out he was a surfer, I could have died a thousand deaths being seen on the beach in a pair of swimmers. I was wearing jeans and jumper, baby. I was not letting anyone see me. Right? It's crazy. So, oh my gosh, tonight I am so pumped for this because we're going to get rid of all of that. <laughs> Are you ready? So, so good. I'm so excited. I'm ready too, Anna. Show me if you're ready, guys. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, totally, Chantel. Thank you for that, Cheryl, for sharing that. Um, If you're not on social media, yes, the YouTube channel is where all of these are being saved. This one probably won't be saved for another couple of weeks, though, because I am heading over to Perth to do my master's and uh, will continue and finish off my master's. So it probably won't be recorded for another week or so. So I appreciate your patience. But everything else, um, all the other processes are there. Confidence, clear limiting beliefs, clear negative emotions for emotional freedom. Um, this one, self-love, of course. Um, there's a money one on there as well, which is so good. Oh, my gosh, it's so exciting. Um, so. What we're going to do now is we're going to um, we're going to just relax, okay? So when you're ready, 
like I said to you before, if you've got children around you or if you're going to be disturbed or if you've got furry friends around you, I really encourage you to make sure that you're in a space where nothing or no one can jump on your lap, right? Because the last thing that we want to do is in, induce a trauma response, okay? I don't know if anyone's ever been asleep before in a deep sleep and like you've been woken up and it's like, we just don't want that to happen by a fairy friend jumping on your lap or little people coming and pulling on your sleeve, okay? So if that's not the right time for you right now, I encourage you to do this process at another time, okay? But for those of you that are stopping in and hanging out with us, if you can get yourself nice and comfortable and you're just going to go and give yourself all of the things that you needed as a child where if you had all those things and you had those relational, safety relational, emotional safety, imagine how different things would have been in your life different relationships, different experiences, the ability to set barriers and speak your need, right? Things like physical affection, spending quality time together, the presence of people that you love and that love you, feeling love, being heard, physical contact, all of these beautiful things. So if you haven't already, you can just close your eyes and just listen to my voice and taking in a nice big deep breath into the nose all the way to your toes. And out through your mouth. Again, breathing in through your nose, deep into your body, all the way to your toes. And pushing out through your toes any pains, fears, anything else. Now breathing out through your mouth. One more time, just breathing in through your nose. This time taking the breath to anywhere in your body that needs it the most. And just breathing out and just taking in that nice, those nice cycle of breaths now. Now I just want you to imagine a protective bubble of gold, blue and pink. And just feel it surround your whole body now, feeling so protected so loved and most of all so safe and this beautiful bubble starts to float you up into the sky up so high that you can see yourself right now sitting in this room with your eyes closed and feeling safe and knowing there are so many beautiful changes the life is going to be so much better leaving all of this past in the past moving into a future where you're free and now just imagine floating back into your past in your mind's eye and find yourself in the place where your birth mother was giving birth to you and watching you from the corner as you were being birthed into the world with this particular DNA. And I want you to be in disguise as a medical staff or a midwife or maybe even just a distant relative visiting and just go over to yourself and before anyone else can, look deeply into your own baby eyes and give a look of unconditional love. You can even pick yourself up and feel your baby self just simply calm and relax and feeling so safe. Because your baby self knows they have everything they need from within and that you will always have your back. And as you pass that beautiful baby back, you find yourself floating up up and up into the sky into a protective gold and purple bubble. And this beautiful protective gold bubble takes you to an event and you may or may not see an event, but you're older than your birth date and you're younger than seven. It's an event that you needed something. Maybe something such as protection, love, to be heard, to be understood, to know that it was safe to be you exactly as you are. You're about to give that beautiful little you everything they needed that day. You're going to hold them and tell them that it's okay, that you have them now. And just feel those little arms wrap themselves around your neck tightly and just hold that little you sending from your heart 
unconditional love. You're here to give them what they needed at that time. You're now choosing to heal and whisper in that little you ear the greatest learning that you can share with them, that everything is going to be okay. Go on. What is that one thing that you can tell that little you to take away all the limiting beliefs? Some you've borrowed, some that you've learned, all that have impacted you throughout your life. And as you feel that little you start to relax and take on the learnings that you've just shared, starting to change the cellular memory now that will change the direction of the rest of your life, knowing that your job here is done, you start floating in that bubble again, higher and higher, higher and higher, going to the next event. And you were between the ages of seven and 12. You may see an event, you may not. But all you need to do now is float down to that little you and do what you have to do. That's right. You know you need to take you in your own arms and take these burdens away and all the disappointments and all the responsibilities that you may have had that you didn't deserve. You didn't need to have adult responsibilities as a child or whatever that was that was going on for you. And just let that beautiful smaller you know that they are loved and that they are loved. That they're perfect exactly the way that they are. They don't need to hold on to the anger, sadness, hurt, disappointment, even embarrassment you've carried with you right up to your age now. And look into your younger eyes now with love warmth and safety and let that little you release all of those fears, fears of rejection, fears of abandonment, fears of judgment, fears of not being good enough or fears of even being too much, whatever it was for you releasing that now along with any shame or guilt. Now whisper in their ear the biggest learning that you can give them that's right, just giving you a moment here. And once you've shared that learning and that wisdom, hug your little you and just feel the release in both of your bodies. Now find yourself in your beautiful purple and gold bubble floating higher and higher, higher and higher and higher and higher and that beautiful feeling of release and love and lightness. Your bubble now transfers you to your last event that was the hardest for you and you may see something you may just know. But go back to that younger you, maybe it was last week, last month or even last year. Whenever your bubble is taking you is wherever you're needing to focus on right now that will make the biggest impact in your life and it will only take you to something that you're ready to release and maybe it was something that you're expecting but it might be a surprise. Just surrender to wherever your unconscious is taking you and just stand in front of that you. Look yourself in the eyes. And just send love, unconditional love to yourself. Place one hand on your own heart and another on your younger self's heart. And send all the love that you've ever given away right back to you. All the love you've given to family, children, friends, pets colleagues it's time to send love back into your own heart and feel the beautiful love between the you now and the you from the past that is standing in front of you now knowing that it's okay to love that to love is beautiful that is beautiful to love 
It's beautiful to love others, but not at the expense of yourself. And I just want you to tell that version of you all the reasons that it's safe to love yourself. And now I'll just give you a moment here. What do they need to know to know that it's safe to love yourself now? Keep looking at yourself in the eyes and say out loud right now, it's okay, I've got you. You are loved. You are enough. Embrace that beautiful version of yourself and feel them relax and heal from all past traumas. Releasing the belief systems that they're not worthy, that they're not good enough, that they've had to be responsible for everyone else's okayness. This is your time right now, right here. So lean in and whisper in your younger self's ear right now the positive words and the positive learnings they need to hear and feel so you get an instant release from your own past self. That's right. And as you feel the support of your clothes on your skin, knowing that you're in exactly the right place now, you enter that safe golden bubble and you float up and up, higher and higher, higher and higher. That's right. Feeling so safe, feeling so free, feeling so loved. And you float out into the future. Anytime that's perfect for you. And as you float down and land your feet firmly on the ground and you see yourself in a beautiful setting and it's perfect just for you. And you see someone, a shadow of a person, and you walk towards them and you see a huge smile on their face. They're so healthy in mind, in body, in spirit. They have a beautiful and loving look in their face. It just welcomes you. And they stretch out their arms and you start running towards this figure. And as you get closer, you feel the love and you notice it's you. It's you without all the old anger, sadness, hurt, fear, guilt, shame. It's you without the fear of judgment or abandonment or rejection. It's you in your free state. Your future self holds you tightly with unconditional love and they whisper in your ear, you, my love, are enough. You thank your future self for never giving up and for being so courageous to embark on this healing journey and for being the most amazing person that you know and for their bravery. You find yourself back in your beautiful purple and gold bubble that floats you up, up and up, higher and higher, higher and higher, and carries you safely back into this room. And looking down on yourself, and now coming back, wiggling your toes and your fingers, and taking in a nice big deep breath, and a big stretch out. Oh. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. And if you've got your pen and paper here with you, just spend a few moments writing down what your revelations were, what the learnings were, and what the wisdom was that you passed on to that old version of you.
and pens down. How do we go with that? Would anyone like to share? Laura? Anna? Ronnie? Laura, I can see that was big for you, my love. Yeah, Nicole, so many emotions come to the surface. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it can be hard, right? Yeah, absolutely. Just giving yourself everything that you perceived was missing in your childhood. Yeah. Yeah, the layers. Maxine, it's so huge, isn't it? Sometimes it's the layers of the onion, isn't it? Like some layers come away. Sometimes it feels like there's 10 onion layers that come away, right? That was me about two weeks ago. I had like 50 layers came away for me last week, right? Has anyone felt like that before? Yeah. Yeah. Would anyone like to share their experience? of what were the learnings and what were the revelations that came up for you of the truth? Kelly, yeah. Do you want to bring yourself off mute, Dallin? We've got a few minutes here we can share. Shares are so powerful because in our sharing, um, the collective healing that we actually all do together is really, really powerful. Yeah. It wasn't my fault. I was always enough. I was always worthy of love. Other people's judgments and traumas weren't your fault or responsibility. That's huge. Absolutely. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate okay. that. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Amazing. I love that. So awesome. It's a lot. That's a lot to process. Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to turn my volume up. Sorry, Dallin. Kelly? It's a lot to process. Yeah. Yeah, I it's think, really I huge. think feeling is, um, especially from trauma, you know, it can take a long time. Like the layers, there's layers. Yeah. The layers. Mm. but no how amazing to sometimes I find I get a little bit annoyed because I think oh well, I'm 53 now why was it not till I was about 40 that I started to even think about such things mm. that what mm. are we um our programming that we've been programmed that we yeah. have we just perceive that that's normal those emotions that we've been you know absorbed all of our life so I think we think we must have to get to a place ourselves where we're then ready to move forward you yeah can't move, you can't move forward without going back and looking back and healing that otherwise yeah. it'll always come back to haunt you one way or another through a person be it a relationship your own self lack of love for yourself esteem you'll always see it mirrored back to you one way or another until you begin that journey. Mm, yeah, it's huge. It's huge. And it's really interesting because what I've noticed in my experience is that we can heal quite quickly. We actually can. I had a lady that we spent four sessions together and she doesn't have that issue that she had before. Wow. Amazing. Okay. So these processes that you guys have your hands on are powerful because they work. Because they work on the unconscious level. We work with the five dimensions, the unconscious, the conscious, physical, cellular. We work with spirit and soul and we work with energy. It's powerful, really powerful. Talk therapy 
and keeps us in the pain. Whereas when you can process it in a way that's loving, gentle and nurturing, it's so powerful. That's been my experience in working with lots of people over the years. So let's have a look here, Catherine, that deep down I have known this forever as God always protected me through the things I went through despite danger of violation. Yeah, as a young person. Choice in your life were evidence, yet yeah, the trauma as a toddler, but I've always felt safe in my life. I could identify with the pain of child as I look back. Yeah. And it's so amazing to release all of that, isn't it? Yeah, Nicole's still crying, but the learnings that you're in control of the choices, the impact, voice, compassion, kindness. Yeah, and love for one another in our world. Everything you need is already within you. Yeah, that's the truth. Absolutely. Um, I think I went the wrong way. I feel heavier. Yeah. Yeah. So Deb um, basically told my younger self that it's all downhill from here and that if she thinks it's bad now, she has no clue just in what's in store for her in the future. Oh, dear. Deb, are you there? I don't know if you can hear me. Yeah, I can. Have you got a camera that you can turn on beautiful? Not really. No. Okay, that's all right. That's okay. I just wanted to say thank you for being so open and honest and sharing with us here. We've got you, my friend. You're so loved. And here's the thing. We can't go the wrong way with these processes. Whatever you're meant to experience is exactly what you're meant to experience, okay? So depending on what has happened in our past, we get to, again, this is just unlayering a, a, a layer. Deb, what I would highly suggest for you is when, I'm not sure if you were with us earlier and you heard us talking about the processes that are in the Juice Plus Facebook group, in guides. So go go and have a look through there. Yeah, so when you go in there, there's a process that you can do and it's called Clear Negative Emotions. Okay. Okay, and that's going to help you to take care. Um, what that's telling me, my love, is that there's a lot of stuck emotions in your body from past stuff. But the beautiful thing about that, Deb, is that you can clear those emotions so that they're not a thing anymore. Anything that we feel, guys, uh, it only biochemically only takes us 90 seconds for us to process an emotion. Anything that you feel longer than that is stored emotion in our body from past stuff. Yeah, so Barbie, I get that. I've worked with a lot of people with PTSD that have healed that now. Okay. No, I just find that I argue with the meditations, you know, like you're enough. No, I'm not. Life yeah. is good. No, it isn't. People are kind. No, they're not. You know, I, I can't yeah. stop. And the more that people say the positive, the more it reminds me of just how bad it actually is and it just yeah. angers me and I, and then I just feel worse. Yeah. Deb, would you be open to having a one-on-one -on -one with me at some point? I would love that, please. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, my love. I'm actually going to pop my... um. If you could send me, Deb, a message to my messenger chat, are we connected on Facebook at all? I'm not sure. I've only just joined this week. Okay. Amazing. What a huge week for you to be starting on. Deb, there's one thing that I want to let yep. you know, my love. Thank you. We've got you. Thanks. And you're safe. You have stepped into probably one of the most loving, safe communities that you could ever, ever, 
ever be a part of. This is so much more than a business. It's good to know. Yeah. It's, it's very lonely. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Is there anybody else? Can you see the screen, Deb? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, can you see all these beautiful souls that are here with you? Yep, thank you. Yeah. We're just going to give you some spirit fingers and we're just going to send all our love to you. Thanks. Deb, we've got you, my love. Okay, and we're not going to let you go. That's good. That's really good because, yeah, I have. So, yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're so welcome. So, Deb, what I would really love, who um who is your support team or who is your upline? Um, it, Rachel Cameron introduced. Oh, me. my gosh. Yeah. Oh, you are so blessed. Yeah, she's gorgeous. She is beautiful. So, Rachel Cameron is a gorgeous soul. Um, yeah, she truly is. And I did mindset one last night and we sat in the park today and discussed my notes and yeah it's yeah there's a lot to unpack and yeah I I don't know what I'm doing yeah that's okay what I encourage you to do Deb what's your surname hun um it's Sherwood yep sh yeah e-r-w-o-o-d O-O-D. have a chat with Rachel and get her to connect us together in a group chat so yep. we can organise just you and me to jump onto Zoom together. Um, or for each and every one of you, if you're wanting support with anything in your business or to help you to move forward and actually create the freedom and the joy and the love and the business that you, you know, really want, that's what I'm here for. Okay? I'm here for you. So please make a time with me so we can get rid of all the crap that's in your way of being who you're meant to be, your real true self. Okay, there's just a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, Julie, you and I, we had a great time together, didn't we? Well, I know I had a great time anyway. <laughs> so this is the thing, guys. Uh, I'm just really mindful of time because I want to respect your time as well. Um, that everything is perfect. Wherever you are right now is exactly where you're meant to be. Everything that you've experienced, I promise you, I promise you there is a blessing and there is a gift in everything. All of the hard times, all the challenges, all the messy parts, there is a blessing in all of it. We just get to go looking for that. And once we find it, we get to be grateful. So with that, yes, Kelly, I understand. That's a hard concept to, to, wrap, our, to wrap our conscious mind around it. But these processes will help you with that, okay, to see the truth. Yeah. So. With that, this is massive, okay? The things I'll say is that the what you've been through today, don't underestimate how massive this is at a physical and psychological level because that stuff has been stored in your body your whole life. You've literally carried it, right? But that feeling, even though in this time, in this space, in the body, you have in the moment of time today, that wasn't back then experiencing that, but there's no time and space in our mind, which is why releasing that trauma there literally changes your physical cells in your body in this time and space. So you feel the release. So just be easy with yourself, okay? Drink lots of water. If you've got some magnesium, that would be really handy as well. Make sure you're eating your juice plus, right? Your beautiful fruits and vegetables in a capsule. Really nourish yourself. Just really listen to your body over this next day or two and be gentle with, with yourself, okay? It's really big. Um, you can come back to this as many times as you need. 
it gets easier and easier and easier. I promise you. Whenever that time feels right, because again, your unconscious will only allow you to release what's safe for you to release. And some people are right there. It's like a pimple ready to be squeezed. Right? I'm not condoning squeezing pimples, right? but you know what I'm talking about. Okay. But for others, it feels like where there's a resistance and there's that protection because where your unconscious wants to go feels so big and so unsafe that your resistance, the protection will keep you safe from it until it feels safe and you're ready to go there. So just go at your own pace and allow it because what you still process today is still going to be bubbling to the surface and you'll have big shifts just from this tonight. Okay. Um, so what happens is that when we release, especially if you've never done this process before, it can be very reluctant the first time. But then there's a reality testing, okay? So life continues to happen and you go on and you're like, oh my gosh, I released that anger and the world didn't end, right? Not only did the world not end, it actually kind of feels better. So this is really awesome. And the next time that, you know, it feels safe to release something a bit more, right? It's just about teaching our nervous system that it's safe to let go of these things that it's safe to go back and heal, that it's safe to resolve, right? It's all about safety. And think about what happens when to the body when it feels uh, unsafe and threatened. It goes, right? It all tenses up. And then we have all these musculoskeletal issues and we go and pay $100 for a massage because our body's so tight when our body's got an emotional root that's actually causing it to go like this because that's how we protect ourselves. It's amazing. Mass massages are still great, and I am condoning that, <laughs> okay? So um, some people don't see anything. That's totally fine. Some people won't visualize anything at all. But remember, our unconscious will just go wherever it needs to go, okay? Um, so thank you, everyone, for hanging out today. Um, I always create a safe space for people to share because um, there's lots of piggyback healing that happens in sharing. Um, so I encourage you to jump in and um, watch those videos as you're taking action in your business and towards your goals and your dreams because this is the important part. It's left foot, right foot. With mindset, right, and healing, we do left foot. If we only do mindset, we're going to be walking around in a circle. If we only take action as far as, you know, having those conversations or doing our DMO or reaching out and offering this beautiful gift to others, and we're not using mindset, then we're walking around the circle the other way. Right? So you want both. You want to do this beautiful work of personal development and mindset stuff but you want to be taking action as well. So you left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, and then you're moving forward, not around in circles. Does that make sense? So really important that for you to manifest and create the reality that you want, you must, must, must take action and show your faith. That's how we show God, source, universe, source of love, Okay, you just name that whatever that is for you. For me, it's God. You're showing God that I have faith that all is well, right? And that I am creating and you're in the driver's seat. You are creating your destiny right now. Today was huge. I'm so, so proud of you. Allow this two to three days to integrate. Like I said, this is really, really big. So allow it to integrate, be gentle with yourself. But basically, you guys have opened the floodgates now to goodness and abundance and high vibration. Oh, my gosh, it's so exciting. Because when you're in high vibration, and I use this analogy all the time, guys, right? Yes, we're elevating, right? Imagine a building and in the top of the building is a penthouse. And in the bottom of the building, you've got all those apartments, right, Kelly? And we're hanging out in the apartments, which is low vibration, right? We're hanging out in all of them. We want to hang out in the penthouse. 
So to hang out in the penthouse, what do you want to do? Gratitude every day, right? Be grateful for what you already have, right? Let go of any resentment. I want to give you this big tip tonight and then I'm going to wrap up because I've gone way over. If you have any resentment towards yourself or others or towards your business or to a customer that hasn't paid for their product or to a customer that's cancelled, any resentment whatsoever, that blocks prosperity, my loves. Okay? So this is what I want you to this is what I want you to do in your practice. The practice is, and you might like to write this down, I fully and freely release all resentment to, and it could be your person, it could be yourself, to your business, to God, to source completely. Thank you. It is done. Practice that every day. You'll feel it in your body when resentment, anger comes up towards something or someone, that's low vibration. Like it's really heavy, low vibe. You want to be free. Yeah, so Nicole, it's I freely and fully let go of all resentment to myself or whoever it is towards, right? to source completely. Thank you, it is done. And what you do is you just keep repeating that until you can feel the release and you'll probably find yourself just let go of all emotion. If you're crying, it's a really great space to be in because when you cry, it means your heart is open in mode anymore. Your heart is open. When your heart is open, you are open to abundance. It's beautiful. I've got goosebumps. I've got full body goosebumps. <laughs> yeah, to source completely. Yeah. Yeah. So add in a letting go of resentment um, practice into your gratitude practice, taking action on your goals and your dreams, getting clear on what it is that you're creating, and do whatever you can to create joy in your day, joy and creativity. So with that, I love you. God bless you. Thank you for hanging out. Cannot wait for our next masterclass to come up. We're going to have a couple of masterclasses as well where it's just open question and answers, whatever you want to bring, um, and then we can just do some live coaching and some live mentoring there and then. Um, because all of these processes are recorded now. You've got access to that. And like I said, you can also book in a call with me one-on-one. -on -one. So please use me. I'm here for you. And I love you. Have a great week. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Mwah.